how much wind will it actually take to move or flip over your storage shed in a storm? This is not anchored down. So things like this, complete failure at about 55 to 60 miles per hour can be seen. Your end result is this. Your shed is completely beat up, but I'm gonna need to get it back on that pad. So the doors are completely ripped off and it's all bent up. But we'll take the Kubota with some forks and kind of bring it over to the pad, scooch it back into place, try to straighten things out. Well, with a rotary hammer drill, I'm just gonna drill through the frame on the base. And then I'll use my favorite anchors, which are Titan HDs from Simpson Strong Tyke. So we'll just drive that home. And now we have a secure connection. Even though the rail's all bent up, we have a nice secure connection on that concrete anchor. Now what I'm gonna do is put two on each side and start up round two, and this is with it anchored down. So we would expect to see a lot better results. I have it going at four X speed here. And then once we see failure, we will slow it down to just normal one X speed. So ramping things up, we can see already it's doing a lot better, although it's starting to move around a little bit. Even that plastic shed's shifting off. We're past 75, 85, still going, and complete failure at around 91 to 95 miles per hour. 